Many dissertations may contain landscape pages. I will show you how to create landscape pages and how to add and format the page numbers on those pages. In my document, I have a page with a chart that needs to be landscape. But before I do this, I must disconnect my landscape page from the other pages in my document or else my entire document will have a landscape orientation. To disconnect the page, click on the last line of the page before the landscape page. Go to the Page Layout ribbon, click on Breaks, and select Next Page. This will create a page break as well as create an extra page. To remove the extra page, click on the Delete key, not the Backspace key, until the page is removed. Now, click on the last line of the landscape page and we will do the same thing. Click on Breaks and select Next Page. If a new page is created, hit the Delete key until it is removed. Our landscape page is now disconnected from the rest of our document. We can proceed to change the orientation of our page and our Page Layout ribbon by clicking the Orientation button and selecting Landscape. As you can see, the page number is still at the bottom of my landscape page and will not print correctly. In order to change this, we will need to make sure that our header and footer sections are unlinked so that the adjustments we make are applied to only the landscape page. Go to the Insert ribbon, click on Footer, and select Edit Footer. Our headers and footers will appear, and we can now click on our footer area and click the yellow button at the top of the screen that says Link to Previous. We will click in the header area and do the same. We also need to unlink the section after our landscape page. So we will scroll down, click in the header, and click on Link to Previous to unlink. Go down to our footer and click Link to Previous one last time. Our headers and footers are all now unlinked, so we can continue to add our page numbers. First, we will need to remove the old page number from the landscape page. Highlight the page number, click on Page Number in our Design ribbon, and select Remove Page Numbers. We will add a new page number by clicking Page Number, Page Margins, and selecting Large Left. This will make a very large page number appear, but we can change the style of that page number by highlighting it, clicking on our Home ribbon, and selecting a style, either an existing one or one that you've created, that will properly format the page number. With the page number still highlighted, we will change the direction of the text by selecting the Page Layout ribbon, clicking on the Text Direction button, and selecting Vertical. Our page number is now facing in the correct direction, but we notice that the page number says 1, although our page is actually page 3. There is just one final thing we must do. Click anywhere on the landscape page, select the Insert ribbon, click on Page Number, and Format Page Numbers. A dialog box will appear, and under Page Numbering, click Continue from Previous Section, and click OK. As we scroll down, we will notice that the pages after a landscape page are also incorrectly numbered. Click anywhere on the page after the landscape page and click on Page Number, Format Page Numbers, and select Continue from Previous Section and click OK. And now, our page numbers are all properly formatted and are in the correct order.